In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the free software from Microsoft. First, go ahead and click on. So I'm going to sh uh, just go down these steps and um, walk you through. So go ahead and click on this link. And it'll take you to this website of um, softwares. And these are the softwares that you can download. Download currently we have Microsoft Office 2010 and also 2013. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna uh, also we also have a, a um, Windows 7 as well. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use Microsoft Office 2010. So click on it, and then you will see um, a few options sometimes they will show the price but it should be free so scroll down to the bottom you'll see the free option so you have a quantity of one and it's a Microsoft Office Professional plus 2010 and I'm gonna click on the add to cut and then here you have um, login window or sign in or register. If this is your first time, you're going to have to register. Um, so go ahead and click on register button right here. And then you have two options. One is uh, sending in your paper documents. But for us, we have um, institutionally issued email address, which I will show you in a moment. So we're going to choose the first option. I have uh, I have an institution issued email address. Go ahead and click on it. Uh, click on the, uh, the continue button. By the way, that's how Microsoft is going to verify you as a student of a Seattle Central Community College. And it's okay now it's in, in the account of verification, the verification email address. It is asking you to put the email address of uh, Seattle Central Community College. So if you do not know, let's go back here to the page of instruction and let's see. If you are familiar with familiar with Micros um, Campus Computer Lab, um, if you know how to log into the Computer Lab system, it's uh, you already know the um, username and the email address and the password. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you how to get that uh, username and password for your email account. So let's see. I'm going to go click on this link that is for uh, getting your computer lab user ID, also known as Ethnet ID. So go ahead, and, go ahead and click on that link right here. And then here you will have a list, you will see a list of alphabets. So basically click on the first letter of your last name. So let's say if your last name is Peterson so click on P and then go down it's in alphabetic order of your last name so find a Peterson and then right next to your name you'll see a uh, text in green so it's basically first letter combination of a first letter over your first name and um, first five letters of your last name followed by two digit number it could be zero one zero two or any kind of combination and also if your last name is less than five letters then whatever the five letter gap it's going to be uh, filled with uh, number zeros Okay, so that's how you find your username, computer lab username, or EDNet login name. 
So that's the uh, half of the game. And then you will need your email password. By default, it is your last six digits of your student ID number. Your student ID number could start with 980982 or something like that. And so the six digit numbers that comes after is your password. So let's log into Seattle Central email website. And so type in your um, username, computer lab username. So let's say you are John Peterson. Let's say 09. And then you'll notice that at Seattle Central is already there. So that is your um, Seattle Central email address. And then type in the last six digits of your student ID number. And go ahead and click on submit, uh, sign in. And if this is your first time signing in to email account, it's going to ask you to change your password. So when you change it, be sure to write it down on a piece of paper because uh, you're going to need it. So log in and then um, and then and then come back to the uh, Microsoft website and then go ahead and type in in your user I'm sorry the uh, email address so it was uh, John Peterson zero uh, nine at Seattle central.edu so make sure that your spelling is correct and at Seattle central.edu and go ahead and click on continue in fact um, I'm going to put my uh, username which is that oopsie uh, OH0002 and click on continue And then it's going to ask uh, you your um, name and set a new password. So I'm going to put my name here, uh, Mo Yun, and email address is already entered. Just verify it. Uh, do I want to get special offers? No, I don't. So, and then password. So uh, password has to be at least six characters long. So I'm going to put my password and that is six characters or longer and I want you to do me a favor. So here I want you to write down your username, I'm sorry, the um, your email address which happens to be also the username of this Microsoft website it's kind of confusing so write it down so your student email address is the username of Microsoft website and then also I want you to write down the password or at least um, the hint for the password and you're gonna need that and then go ahead and click on register click on register okay and so you're a member of following groups which is Microsoft uh, Seattle Central Community College you're a student and the email has been sent to your email account. So let me go ahead and log in. And there is um, 
email from email confirmation from this site click on it and then follow the instruction which is please click on the link below so click on the link so it'll take me back to this Microsoft site and then you're gonna to have to um, go through that once again which is selecting the software and then add to cut and how do I download it okay check out click on check out button and click on continue so all these license agreements and all that kind of things and here's a username what is the username it is your email address of Seattle Central Community College it is nice enough to give the hint right here okay signature your name uh, I'm gonna just type in my name and I accept and then go on so I'm not gonna go all the way but um, um, you can at the end there's a link that you can download um, that'll let you download the software and you can install it okay that's it